I'm going to show you something that you can do with the unitizing grid that's a free tool in conceptual fractions. Take a look at this and you might be able to do some more on your own. So what I've done is I've determined that whatever is red is going to be 1. It says 1 over 1 and that makes 1. And Let's see what, what we're going to do here. So red. 1, let's see, come on now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, 24. 24 is 1. So the question is, what's 1 half going to be? Now I'm going to write down the 1 half here. And I'm saying that whatever is green is going to be 1 half. So if 24 is 1, here's 12. 6 and 6 is 12. That's 1 half. Let's see if it's true. Good. I use the check work button and I'm right. Okay, good. Now I'm going to try 1 fourth, half of a half. So I'm going to write it down, 1 fourth. Now whatever's blue is going to be 1 fourth. Well, 24, 12, half of 12, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great. Check along the way. Looking good. So a quarter is a half of a half, which is a half of a whole. Let's try an eighth. This time, I'm going to make it triangular. It's going to be this kind of gold color. And here's what I'm going to do. Since six was a quarter, three is going to be an eighth. So I'm going to go like this. The way I'm making my three is I'm making it half of two, four, six. I'm going to do it again down here with this teal color. Yeah. These are each three. That's six. That's 12. That's 24. An eighth, a quarter, a half and a whole. It all works. So this is a pattern that I made using the unitizing grid. That's a free tool in conceptual fractions.